Five features of Readwise and alternatives to it. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Readwise and how I use it with Obsidian. Readwise is a web-based app that allows you to capture content from different sources. Once captured, you can import the source information into various applications. I found out that Roam users were able to import Readwise highlights straight into the Roam app and wondered if Obsidian users can do the same. By using Readwise, it streamlines the process of capturing source information. One of the limitations that I want to tell you about straight away is that there is no direct integration between Readwise and Obsidian. With Roman Notion apps, Readwise has integrated with relevant APIs. Obsidian third-party plugin support has been released, so hopefully someone will make a plugin for Readwise. Until a plugin is available, you have to manually download the markdown that Readwise creates into Obsidian. By the end of the video, you will see the five features that I use in Readwise and how how I use it with Obsidian. I also plan to show you some workarounds that I've used before discovering Readwise that you might want to use if you do not want to pay for Readwise monthly subscriptions. These might not be as perfect as Readwise, but might save you money and add value to your process. If you're interested in more techniques, tools and hacks for your workflow, please subscribe to my channel. If you enjoy the content and found it useful, please press the like button so I know to create similar content. One use case that is incredibly annoying for me is to extract tweet threads. Tweet threads are multiple tweets linked together that someone has created on Twitter. I found tweet threads useful for summarizing content people are sharing, explaining concepts quickly, or suggesting a list of tools to solve problems. I use Twitter threads on my account, which is at Civ underscore UK, where I share my daily ideas that I might not have used in my YouTube videos. Previously, I had to copy each tweet into Obsidian. With Readwise, I can send a direct message to their Twitter account. Readwise will pick up the tweet and store it in their servers. Additionally, in the direct message, you can add tags and notes. Readwise will include these in the markdown it creates. Let's have a look at this. I select the tweet thread that I want to send to Readwise. I forward it as a direct message. I use the word thread or T in the message. I can add notes or hashtags that I want to include in the markdown. In Readwise, I go to the Twitter section to see the list of tweets that I've saved. By clicking on the arrow button of the tweet, I can choose to export the highlights. Readwise creates a file correctly formatted in markdown. I copy this markdown as a source note in Obsidian. I did find the following alternative that Roam users have been using. It is called The Rip. Once you log into the Twitter account, you can paste in the link to your Twitter thread and it will create a markdown text for it. You can copy this into your Obsidian note. It also has an iOS shortcut as well as a bookmarklet which you can use on your browser. I read a lot of books on my Kindle. As I'm reading them, I highlight the sections that are relevant to me and are of interest to me. Once I've read them, I've previously gone into Amazon and downloaded the highlights and copied them into Obsidian as a note. Using Readwise, it is possible to link your Readwise account to your Amazon Kindle account and it will download the highlight for you as Markdown, which you can save in Obsidian. Let's see it in action. Once you link your Amazon account to Readwise, it will download your highlight and show you them in the book section. From here, you can click the arrow button to show the export link. Pressing this, creates a markdown formatted file of your highlights of the book. Unfortunately, I did not find an alternative to this. The only other option is to download it from Amazon and format it before saving it to your Obsidian vault. If you are a user of Instapaper or Pocket, there is an integration to Readwise. Instapaper and Pocket are tools that let you save web articles for later reading. I use it if I see an article when I'm browsing that I think is interesting and I want to capture it to store for reading later on or downloading into Obsidian. An alternative solution is to use Mark Download, which is a Markdown web clipper on Chrome. The clipper converts a web page into Markdown text. You can copy the Markdown into a note in Obsidian. I'll provide a link below in the description. Note the feature that I enjoy using is the daily Readwise email. Readwise sends you a list of highlights that you have captured in Readwise every day. The benefit of this is it reminds me of random highlights that I've made which can help to inspire new content via Obsidian permanent notes. I also enjoy capturing inspirational quotes that I randomly get highlighted. I also use it as a basis for tweets that I want to send that day. The only thing I can find similar to this is the random note feature in Obsidian. By clicking on the random note button, it brings up one of your notes that you have created in your vault. Users can set up this feature via the settings plugin random note. Another feature I like is supplemental books. In Readwise, this shows the highlights other people have made to different books. The benefit of this is I can look at other people's highlights of books I'm interested in reading before I buy it. 
find highlights to books that I already have. Let's have a look at this. Clicking on the Supplement of Books link of the Browse section provides a list of the books other people have highlighted. You can search for a book you are interested in by typing out the name of the book or the author. From there, you can view the highlights other people have added. An alternative to this is to use StoryShots. StoryShots is a mobile app that provides users with summaries of books for free. It combines summaries from different sources to provide this in one app. It also has audio on some of the summaries. If I like the summary of a book, I can copy the content into Obsidian. Please remember to like if you found this video useful and subscribe if you want more updates. There are many features of Readwise which could help you streamline your content creation workflow using Obsidian. I use it to capture Twitter threads for useful summaries. I capture Kindle highlights to keep a record of the passages I was interested in for books that I've read. I capture web articles via Instapaper to read later and transfer it into Obsidian once read. I use the Daily Reads email to inspire content creation and I use the supplementary book highlights to capture highlights I might have missed or ones other people have noted. Thanks for watching. If this video was useful, please check out some of my other videos. Goodbye for now.